Hi everybody, uh, Johnny Wilson here from Lucas, uh, up and coming uh, footballer. Um, been with us for a few weeks now, uh, so I'm bringing something new on him. We're here at the Fitness Collective. Uh, great studio in West Bridgeford. Look, I'm plugging it because it's a great place um, and they're, they're great guys as well. So, we're working on Nordics and Nordic progressions. Um, got a little bit of an aero floor here, so that's nice and easy to kneel on. I use a little bit of a medicine ball or some kind of bag to put the, uh, the feet on, just makes it more comfortable. And then I've got a target here with a bench, so you can make this up at home yourself. I'm going to use a resistance band with Lucas today, he's going to put it around his waist, and then we'll see if we can give him some assistance um, on the way down. So I'm looking for some control. So we're working on hamstrings, eccentric motion, eccentric means lengthening of the, the hamstrings. So a uh, really good exercise, some of the, from an outcome measure, we look for three sets of ten, all the way down, all the way up. So all the way down is your eccentric contraction, you have a period of amortization, which means you're not moving, and then your concentric um, contraction is getting all the way back up. So um, building um, uh, bulletproof hamstrings. There's no such thing as bulletproof, you know, everybody can, anybody can get injured. So, Lucas, um, do you mind kneeling on? So I haven't done Nordics with Lucas before, so um, I don't really want to take any risks. And again, you know, Lucas might be fine. Do you mind if we put this around? No, Cool, and then just pop that around your waist. So, and then I'll just pop that around me as well. Now, with the, um, with the Nordics, it's really important that I get a good pressure on on Lucas's um, feet. So if I'm not, is that is that comfortable? So yeah, yeah, that's good. I'll move it in a little bit because it doesn't look like it's close enough. So now he's in equinus or plantar flexion. So he's going to have way more of a hamstring contraction. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get nice and close and personal, and I'm going to put the same weight on both of his ankles. And it's really important. My job is important here. My job is as important as, as Lucas's. Now, Lucas, the band is going to help you a little bit, all right? I want you to go as far as you can to the bench. See if you can touch. Try not to use your hands. I want you to get down as far as you can and then back to me, and let's see if we can do that six times. Okay. Okay, where you go. And the band might be a bit too much here. And then back up. Good man. So he's feeling the band, and you know, the tension's really coming on that. How do you feel up with that, Lucas? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, put your hands over your chest. He's gone, he's gone for it, he's gone for it here, really, like. Okay, there you go. You feeling the band kicking in? Uh, that was not fine. Okay, cool. Can you touch your chest off that? You oh, okay, keep, keep, keep your hands there, yeah. Get as far, target, 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 oh! Good. Three more. So again, I'm getting an idea of where he is. He's got a little bit of control in there, losing it at the end, and then the resistance band gives him that little bit of extra assistance. How are you feeling there? Very tough. Okay, cool. Now, if it's feeling too much, I could come back a little bit, give him a little bit more resistance. If it was too easy, we could take away um, the to take the uh, bench there. We're going to try it now, okay? A little bit of recovery, not too much. We're going to try three without the resistance band. So I'm pretty confident that he's got good control, good strength, he's able to get down, he's able to control that. You can use your hands a little bit to push yourself back up if you need to, okay? So just keep your hands out in front. How are you feeling? Uh, okay. Yeah, are you happy to do this? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, excellent. So, important that the athlete knows that he's at the centre as well. Yeah, we are doing a video here, but it's more for educational purposes, but the uh, health and well-being of the athlete is always central. Okay, so same again. So my weight is really on top of these ankles. Are you, are you okay? Is it comfortable? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, where you go. Down he goes, down he goes. Use your hands just in case it's good and dry up. Okay, so just touch those hands off it. Excellent. Two more. So we're really working hard for these. So he's not going to go any further than that really. And I don't need him to fail. I don't need him to go to the ground here. What I want is control, two thirds of the way. One more time. So I want this control here. And eventually, 
we can change the bench with something, thank you, Lewis. We can change the bench with something a little bit lower. So we can decrease that length of that. But you can see how you need that part over there. People use nard boards and other pieces of equipment, which are brilliant. And they give you some outcome measures and they give you some numbers with regards to, to uh, how strong the right and the left is. Um, but an excellent exercise um, off season, in season, um, during the COVID period. Um, the research is there to say that it helps reduce the uh, risk of future injury, especially if you've had a hamstring injury before. And if you have had any type of ACL injury um, and you've had a hamstring graft, well then this is certainly one of the exercises of choice. So with all, all our athletes we, we, we strongly recommend this is an excellent exercise. So if you're looking at uh, help the hamstrings, high speed running, uh, Nordics and maybe some windmills, some single leg dynamic stuff, um, I'm sure you're, you're on the right route if you're doing stuff like that. So hope you enjoyed the video guys.